So guess what? 2023 is right around the corner. How do you feel like 2022 went for you? Did you have an idea of how it might go? Did you have any big goals or things that you wanted to accomplish? Because I know I did. Here's the thing, I always start strong. But like most people, what's difficult is keeping that same energy, that same excitement throughout the year. Through all that though, I feel like I've been able to grow and become better at not losing my momentum. Now I'm not perfect, but if you're committed to improving, you'll eventually find a way. Here's my way. One of the things that has really helped me, and I know this goes against almost everything that you hear, is I create unrealistic goals. They motivate me more, they stretch me to think beyond what is normal, what is mundane, and they help me become almost obsessed with improving, improving, finding new ways to do something that I've never done before. And I don't like to think of these as New Year's resolution goals. These are not something that changes from year to year. Sometimes these are goals that I have been dreaming of and thinking of for many years and that I continue to try to work towards every year. I think over time I've grown past the idea of like, hey, let's start the year off with, I'm just gonna lose 10 pounds or let's start the year off, I'm gonna keep it towards social media. I'm gonna create 10 social media posts. Like I like to think beyond that. I like to think beyond what is extremely achievable because for me, I've noticed that if it's, if it's easy to achieve, if it's easy to do, then I don't really get excited about it. And I don't build the life around me to move towards those goals because I'm just like, I can do this in my sleep. It's not that hard. It doesn't stretch me. It doesn't make me uncomfortable. I think the key to being strong throughout the year is being uncomfortable often being stretched often. Now with having those unrealistic goals, I had to think through what would prevent me from actually doing those things day in and day out. What would get in the way of those things? What are some obstacles that might, that might take place? For me, at one time it was, I wanted to work out five times a week. And I would always set that as, oh, I'm gonna wake up really early and work out. For a time I was able to do that, but over time I started to lose that desire to wake up really early and I found it really hard to wake up early. So I would skip workouts. Instead of doing that, I adjusted my workout time to during my lunch break. What this helped me realize is that you have to pivot when you need to pivot. You don't have to be rigid on the things that you choose to do. If let's say you wanna do create something and you're like, it has to be during this time. There's no other time. Or well, maybe you work better at a different time. If you want to do, so, let's say you want to do something really early in the morning, maybe you work better at night. Maybe you're more creative at night. Always find ways to pivot because life is fluid. It's not always going to be black and white. You may make a plan and you have to adjust that plan constantly. If you want to have those big goals and achieve those big dreams, you have to be able to be malleable. You got to be able to shift. And I think that that is something that I'm constantly trying to grow towards is not being a rigid person in the, in the sense of not only doing things one way, but being able to do things multiple ways in order to achieve the thing that I want to achieve. One of the biggest things that I have realized along this journey is embracing failure. And what I do to help me get through that is a thought download. So I write down every single thought that I have when I'm going through it, when I'm dealing with failure, and I process my thoughts. I process my feelings, my emotions. The thing about failure is, it's, it, I would say it's a debilitating feeling. Like it's not easy to get past. That's why so many people quit. And there's nothing wrong with people who have quit. It's just a choice. It doesn't mean that they're a quitter. It's just a, a choice. The, it is the reaction to whatever circumstance and feelings that they're feeling. And I really pushed myself to learn to embrace failure more because I don't wanna just quit whenever I feel that like crappy feeling, honestly. When I am going through that, I like to really just write down the thoughts that are coming to my head because we, we are constantly telling ourselves a story and there are thoughts that are on loops, especially whenever we're going through a difficult situations. And the key to going through your years strong is embracing failure along the way. Because if you create really big goals, you are more than likely gonna fail at some point. And you can only level up and you can only step those ladders and get better and better and better if you fail a bunch of times. Something that you do may not work out the first time and you have to pivot and adjust and adjust and adjust. And as you keep adjusting, you keep 
climbing that ladder, but it's not like like this. It's down, up, down, up, down, up, down. It's like, it's just, it's not linear. And that is really true because so many, so many goals and things that I've tried to achieve in my life have never been just easy and straightforward. Sometimes it's like I go through this really low, 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 like years, 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 or months, 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 and then boom, and it's like out of nowhere. So failure is the path to having strong years. Along the way, I've realized that I need, I need motivation. I can't always just go through this alone. And I had to find people, whether that is physical or virtual people, to speak to me to help motivate me along the way. I would say 90% of those people are virtual podcasts, videos, people that I look up to, that I allow to speak into my life so that I can continue to move in the right way. Because it's true, and I, and I hate to be a broken, a broken record, but you are the company that you keep. If you don't have people in your life that motivate you and push you, then you can't grow, especially whenever you're having those moments where you want to give up. Because when, when you want to give up is when you need those people to speak to you and say, you are right before your breakthrough. You're right before you're about to hit that next level. Don't quit because it just got hard. Don't quit because you feel like you're a failure. Because life is such a long journey. You underestimate what you can do in the long term. You really do. We all do. I do. All the time. So you gotta find ways to motivate yourself. I love to listen to podcasts on my way to work. It's just like, it's so easy. Like I'm already doing it. I don't even have to carve out time. It's 20, 30, it's like a 30 minute ride. So I get to listen to, you know, throughout the week, a couple hours of podcasts. I get to get poured into it. I basically get coached for free for two hours a week. Then I like, if there's a video or there's someone that I follow, I can consume their content. I can read a book. I can, I can do something that helps me grow and it helps me stay motivated. These are things that aren't very difficult to do, but we can do. If you're a single person, maybe you have a lot more time. You can, you can do this when you're at the gym. You can listen to it when you're working out. If you're a stay-at-home mom, you can look, listen to podcasts or something that motivates you while you're, while you're cleaning up the house or taking care of the kids. If you're, if you're at work all day, like I said, you can listen to it on your way to work. There's so many ways your life, take an honest account of your life, find the easy opportunities to get motivated throughout the day, because this is going to push you and make you more resilient in the long term when you're trying to achieve those big goals, when you're trying to stay strong throughout the year, when you don't want to just be someone who gets excited when January comes, you want to be someone who can stay excited throughout the year. It's something that has transformed me and transformed the way that I think about things is asking myself, what type of person do I want to be? What kind of person do I want to be? I wrote those things out. I realized I want to be somebody who doesn't give up. I want to be somebody who is okay with being uncomfortable. I want to be somebody who follows through. I want to be somebody who's kind to myself. I want to be somebody who guides his children. I want to be somebody that loves his wife unconditionally. You write these things down and you decide on the person that you want to be. And it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm telling you, it's so, it's so empowering when you can write down the things that you type of person that you want to be and you can live towards that because I like to think of the things that I want to achieve in my life as lifestyle what type of life do I want to have what type of way of living do I want to have versus goals or I have a goal I just I have these goals because they kind of feel separate versus if you have a type of person that you want to become you think about how can you create a lifestyle that supports the person that you want to become. And that, that, is, that is huge, man. I, if, if you don't take anything else from this video, is think about the person that you want to be. Who do you want to be? What kind of person do you want to become? Because if you can decide, or if you can really envision the type of person you want to become, and you realize that you have the power to decide to already be that person, you don't have to wait to achieve anything. You can decide to be somebody like that today. So look, 2023 is right around the corner, guys. All right. Don't let the hype of just starting strong and then fizzling out just be the norm for you. All right. Start strong and stay strong. You can do this. Honestly, you have the power to do this. And I hope these things that I've shared with you help you along the way. So, so love you guys. 
Start strong. Stay strong. See you in the next video.